So in today's video, we are going to look at teacher day plan. If you are a new teacher looking to create a day plan, or if you are just looking for ways to be a little bit more efficient with your planning time, then stick around because I'm going to show you a template that I've used for the last few years that has shaved hours off my planning each week. Stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, welcome. This is It's All Primary. And on this channel, we look at teacher productivity and teacher side hustles. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos posted Tuesdays and Saturdays. If you are new to teaching or considering a career in teaching, let me warn you, you are going to spend a lot of time planning your teaching day, a lot. So it is really important that you create for yourself a planning system and then stick to it. So when I first started teaching, I would take a planner and just write out my plan every day. And after a few years, I kept thinking there's got to be a better way. As I was rethinking it, we were doing more and more online work. And so I decided to create a, a Google Doc. And over the years, it, it's pretty much stayed the same. There's a few variations, especially right now with remote learning. But I have basically stuck to this template because it works. I have five daily templates. Monday through Friday. And I do that because each day I have different specials, um, prep times, supervisions. Uh, sometimes the schedule is just completely different. Sometimes it's the same, but I keep one for each day of the week. And then I also created a very elaborate one for a teacher on call or a substitute teacher, depending on what you call them. Because I found that when I have a very elaborate plan, I don't have to make up something for the day. I can let that teacher on call continue with my plan. And that way I'm not spending all these extra hours trying to create a sub plan. The first time I created a sub plan, it took me almost eight hours. And I thought I will never do that again. They don't, they don't take eight hours anymore, thankfully. And on these day plans, I have the time, the subjects that I'm teaching and when I'm teaching them, the activities that I'll be doing during those subject times, any prep that I have, supervisions, I have student birthdays, pullouts for learning assistance. I have any time there is a break, staff meetings, resources, things that I need to photocopy, links, and dismissal time. <laughs> so basically everything that I need to do in a day, it's on this plan. If you want a closer look at this plan, go down below to the description and you will see a link to my blog and you will see picture of not only a regular day plan that I started with that template, but one that I'm using now that I'm teaching uh, blended learning. When you look at them, you'll notice that they're pretty simplistic and that is kind of the beauty of them. When I have a very simplistic day plan or outline, I tend to stick to it. I tend to use it more because I have tried other day plans and I find that after a while I either get tired of them because they require too much work on my part. I wanted something that was easy. So whether you are an online person, this will work for you. And whether you are an, a paper person, this will work for you. I type them up in Google Doc because the template is already there. I just go in, make a copy for the week and fill in each day. And then I print them off. And then when they're finished, I put them in this binder. And I usually keep them for about a year, just in case. One of the things that has saved me time besides the having this template is the fact that I batch my day plans. And what that means for me is that I will either spend two afternoons after school, or I will spend, um, I get one longer prep on Friday afternoon and then an after school on Thursdays. And between the two days, I will get not only one days, but all five days done. There are two ways that you can batch day plans. One is you could have them all open, all your windows open and just work through them Monday through Friday. But another way that you can batch them is you can batch them by subject. So for example, one of the things that I tend to always batch first, I don't know why, is math. I always seem to know exactly what I'm doing for math. I can put stuff in and I will always put in an extra just in case. And so I will up, open up literally all my tabs with each day of the week and I will start on Monday and put in math, Tuesday math, Wednesday math, Thursday math, Friday math. And then I go on to language arts because 
those two take up literally most of my morning. And then I will do the other subjects. Again, because I'm teaching blended right now, it works a little bit different. I do have to spend a little bit more time uh, between the online portion and the face-to-face -face portion, but it still, for the most part, works out fine. I think I'm probably putting in an extra 20 minutes, maybe, to do both of them that way. But honestly, give it a try. Take a, take a look. I, I don't have a template there for as a freebie, but by looking at it, you can copy this. It's easy. It's very easy to copy. And if you are finding any value from this video, I'd appreciate you clicking the thumb up. And again, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. One of the things I get asked is, do you need to have day plans with lesson plans? The lesson plan is just for a specific lesson within this. And that will depend on your administration and how you like to organize your own planning. There are many times when I just have to fill this out and I don't need an extra lesson plan. There are times when maybe I'm do trying a unit for the first time that I will have a few lesson plans on the side as well. And there are times when I know I'm getting ready for an evaluation, or maybe I know that a um, substitute teacher might be coming in sometime during the week, then I will have a, a couple lesson plans available on the side. But for the most part, I can fill these out and I won't have to worry about a lesson plan. But again, you need to check with your administration, find out whether they are happy with day plans or whether they prefer lesson plans. See, this day plan is for me. This is how I keep myself organized. I jot down all my notes, last minute meetings, everything. I try to write down everything within that document. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> so for our Saturday's video, we are going to be talking about boom cards again, because you know how much I love them. We are in a series and this week's video is going to be on some of the tools and features that are available to you uh, when you are making boom cards that you might not have used before. You'll find that video here Saturday morning. And I pray wherever you are in the world that you are staying safe and healthy, taking care of yourself, your family, your community, because we are in this together. Be kind to one another. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.